Anthony Shilia here for EatItalian.com. We're on the red carpet for the premiere of the movie Vito Bonifaci, starring Paul Borges. And we're going to talk to a couple of the actors. Here we go. I'm here with the star of the movie, Paul Borghese. Can you tell us a little bit about the film and how you got involved with it? Uh, Vito Bonifaci, it's a film about faith. And uh, John Martosha, the filmmaker, was looking for somebody to play Vito Bonifaci. He was having trouble casting the role. He went to Carlo Fioletta, who's the president of the Guild of Italian American Actors. He recommended me. I auditioned for the role. John gave it to me. And we're making history tonight. Definitely a different movie. Definitely a different feel for Italian Americans. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How, you know, how it makes you look at your faith? Well, I think it's a, it's a very positive image film. I mean, I don't think it's only going to appeal to, to uh, Catholics, to Roman Catholics, Christians. I think it's also going to appeal to all races and all creeds and all religions because it, it is. It's about faith. And it's, it, you know, his search for the truth. And everybody's in, in search of the truth. And everybody wants to be ready to die when it comes time to die, although none of us want to die. And everyone questions heaven and hell now and then. So... If you can sit back and, and kick back and, and not think in terms of the MTV generation attention span and just soak in what the movie has to offer, I think if you watch the movie, you stand a better chance of going to heaven. I agree. Thank you for your time, Paul. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's a scene in the movie? There's a great scene in the movie for eatitalian.com where my maid, Karen May, is preparing a beautiful breakfast. I mean, just step by step. It's almost like a food show, but more spectacular. So if you watch the movie and you like food preparation, we have a great scene in the movie with food preparation. You do. EatItalian.com. I love it. Thank you, Paul. All right, thanks thank a lot. You, thank you. I'm here with John Martosha. He is the writer, the produ producer, and director of the movie. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the movie, how, how it came to be? Vito Bonifaci came to be. It was just uh, an inspiration. I felt called by God to do this film. It's, <clears throat> I went through a conversion in my life when I was 40, so I wanted to introduce a film that would bring people to have a deeper understanding of life's purpose, to make them delve into the meaning of life, that life is more than the superficial realm of the material world, you know, how much money we make, what type of house we live in, that there's something more profound to life, and that is that we are accountable eventually to, to our Lord, and that I wanted to make people really focus on thinking about the hereafter. The, the day of death, to really make them understand that, you know, perhaps, perhaps there's something in life that they should be thinking about more seriously. Uh, the typical person is like Vito. They go through life and they really don't consider anything other than, you know, just day to day. Yeah, live your life. They don't look into the possibility of the day of death. And, and so that's, that was really the purpose, to, make, to provoke thought, to bring people of faith, a deeper faith, to people without faith, a little faith. To draw closer to God. So that was really the intention of the, of the film. I developed this fish, fictional character, Vito, to, to, as a way to instruct people through this fictional character, Vito, a little about the teachings of the Catholic Church. As a director, I sit there and I watch things about it, and I'm like, whoa, but I'm, I'm happy. I did it. I did it because I felt it was a calling from God, and if it touches souls like it's touched you, then it's achieved uh, my, its objective. So it's successful, because it has touched those. So I'm not gonna worry about how much money it makes or doesn't make. It's the bottom line is I, I'm watching it, I'm being very critical as I'm watching my own movie, but the reality is I didn't make it for any other reason but to touch souls, to move people, to help them draw to a deeper understanding of life's true purpose. So. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm here with Louis Venaria. He played the gardener in the movie Vito Badafacci. Right, Tell us a little bit about this role and about the movie itself. Yeah, well, first of all, Paul's a very good friend of mine. He puts me in everything he does. He's also a great director. He's put me in every movie. He even puts me in his home movies. Wow. <laughs> but uh, this movie, um, I play the gardener. It's about Paul Bugazi, Vinny Bonifacci, who, who uh, is actually examining his life and finding out if, if, he go, if he's going to go to heaven or hell. And he talks to the gardener who... I kind of play a guy who's smarter than he looks kind of thing. Who, who, would, who would think that a gardener would have something to say? But he asked me what I think of um, if he's a good person in the eyes of God. And I come out with some profound things. And the words were written by John Matosha, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't ad-libbed in any way. But um, <clears throat> kind of like out of the mouths of babes or, or from someone who you at least 
get, expect something so intelligent coming from. Now, Anthony, you're from Italian... EatItalian.com. EatItalian.com. I just want to say that this movie is an Italian movie who has nothing to do with the mafia or no. crime or anything like that, and I think that's that's important to be yeah, said. There, there are not enough movies like this out there. there really no, are. it's a family movie. It's a religious movie, actually. It makes you think about, about your own life. and that. Oh. And uh, the core of me, I'll tell you. Yeah, and there's not a there's not a shred of any mafia or undertones or anything no, no, like that, no. which is nice. No. Well, I thank you for your time. My pleasure. Thank you, very much. thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Will DeMeo and talk about the film Vito Bonafacci. So, what was your role? I play the the character Father Lagobola. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about the movie? How how how? What did you well, what did you take away from the movie? I mean, this is the second time I watched it, and. I didn't watch it the, the first time I watched it. Probably was about like eight months ago, and I remember the feeling that I got as I left, and I feel it ten times more today as as I'm leaving this premiere. And I'm actually my, my priest from my neighborhood came down um, from Brooklyn, uh, Father Catrone, and uh, who's a very close friend of mine, and and he he really really appreciates it all. So I. I it, it really, I, I feel like there should be more films like this, even. I agree. It, I, I, the director and John Martosha to pull something like this off, I mean, it, it's so touching. And I'm a Catholic, but I think that any religion, if you're Jewish or uh, a Muslim, I mean, you could appreciate because it's all, it's all, we all pray to it's God. And yeah, faith. exactly. And this movie is so much about faith, so I would recommend that not only if you're Catholic should you see this movie, I, I, I I think that it, it would appeal, like I said, to all different religions. It's it's wonderful. It, it, it re and, and look, we all when we leave and we're all in a movie and we leave a movie, we all, of course we're gonna. I mean, I feel really, really, really good about. It. I mean, it, it's it's unbelievable. It, yeah, it really is. Like this. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You you don't you know the action films or the mob films or you know that's what we're used to or the violence and. You, you know, like I said, the action, this is just, it's the heart. I agree. It's, it's a true conversion that someone goes through in life, and I'm sure, like, almost everyone has felt that way. That's true. I mean, it's, it, it, I applaud everyone, everyone, every single person from that, that was part of this production. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. I, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you, much. No, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm here with Steve Perillo from Perillo Tours. He's also the executive producer of the movie Vito Bonafacci. Correct. I'm so proud to be a part of this film. It's unbelievable. It really is an amazing film. What, what did yeah. you take away from it? Uh, well, here's the story. I'm a, a lapsed Catholic, too. And last year, I went to church and confession for the first time in 25 years. I went through the whole thing. And that's why I had to get involved in this project, because I have also come back, and it's been an unbelievable experience. To, uh, to find my faith again. And it's the same exact thing that he went through. It's a real life thing. And I think uh, Paul is actually going through this the same thing through the movie. Wow. This is a real life situation. It, it really touches people who, who, you know, I'm a Catholic, kind of fell yeah. out of the faith for a while. Yeah, but, yeah, you, know, you too. After a while, I think everybody kind of has that, yeah. that, I guess you almost have an epiphany sometimes. It really yeah. opens your eyes to, uh, to, to kind of just believing again. So, uh, you know, Paul, uh, I hate to talk about Italian movies, about the mob this, the mob that. This is like Z the first Italian, uh, it's not even Italian, it's a Catholic, but it's, a, it's an Italian project for yeah. sure in every, w every way. And it's wonderful to see a new topic besides, you know, the stupid uh, crime nonsense. So uh, I hope it's going to be more like it. So I, I appreciate your time. Same here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Italian.com. I'm here with Asho Baghdadi yeah. and Mike Sergio. Mike Sergio. Yeah. And you guys are from Kabu Pictures, correct? Yes, we're the founders of Kabu Pictures. How did you guys get involved with Vito Bonifacio? We got a call from Paul Borghese, the lead actor, and he recommended that we see the film, and uh, he put us in touch with John Martosha, the filmmaker, and now, and that was it. I mean, really, it was kind of a combination of just mutual friends, and. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, a lot of filmmakers bring films to our attention, and so our eye has become very discriminating on what we see. And actually, when we saw Vito Bonifaci, we were really, really happy and pleased with it because if you think of the film industry as a pizza pie, I mean, to be have a film be successful, you only have to be successful in one slice of the pie. Yeah. And this film, when we see a film, we have to not only like a film but know how to market a film. And this was a film that we felt had a great story and
had a ready audience waiting for it. That's why we got really energized over it. So what did you guys take away from this film? Well, I mean, we, we wanted to distribute it because we felt, like Michael said, I agree with everything he said, that we felt there was a hungry audience for this film. And so we really understood its message. We think it has a beautiful message. And we wanted to showcase you know, the film in the most positive way. Um, we have been working with a lot of different Catholic organizations, Italian-American organizations. We had some wonderful write-ups in the Catholic press. Uh, which we're grateful for because I do think that at the end of the day there are not that many Catholic, positive Catholic films that come out and we wanted to basically, you know, help this filmmaker and go to the wall for him and the film um, to, to ha so that it can have a fighting chance. And, so. and even though the film is specifically addresses Catholicism in it, it's really a rather universal theme. Any man who feels materialism has taken him over starts to question his own soul. This is done through the uh, explored through the doctrine, the theology of Christianity, but actually every religion has the same moment of question when materialism starts to take you away from God. And so we really felt there was a universality also to the film, and that's what we're excited about. Obviously to make a successful film, to do a successful launch, you play to the base of the film to start with, which we are definitely doing with it. We did it with the artwork, the trailer, with everything we're doing, but I think there's also terrific crossover potential to people who aren't Catholic to this because there's a very big universal theme that is the, the spine of this film. And I also think that it, um, as far as just stereotypical Italian-American roles, this is definitely not that. This, I think a lot of Italian-Americans who will come out and see this film will be surprised that there's something out there for Italian-American actors other than your typical mob roles or, you know, the typical roles that, that I think a lot of people are now being criticized for. And I think that this is the kind of film that when you look at Paul Bergese's work and William DeMeo's work and Louis Venaria and all of the different, you know, it's because its majority cast is Italian-American and the filmmaker's Italian-American. So I hope that that also kind of adds that extra But this layer. is now what happens next. A filmmaker makes a film, a distributor finds a film, we basically put a spotlight on the film. Now audiences need to respond to the film. Right. This is the kind of film you want to see in movie theaters? Is this is the theme you want your children to be exposed to? Is this is an image of Italians you want to see portrayed? And you must come out to see this film. You must bring your friends out. And what's wonderful, on opening weekend, we already have busloads of people coming in to see this film. So it's a real grassroots effort to get people out. Grassroots yeah. effort and, and PR driven. And, and again, May 6th in New York City at the AMC Lowe's Village 7. And that's on the corner of 3rd Avenue and 11th Street. And also, we are now starting to get offers to play the film in other parts of New York and other parts of the country as well. So stay right. tuned. Go on VitoBonifaci.com and you will see the screenings that are scheduled. Well, so. thank you very much for your time. Thank I you. appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and you. thanks for supporting. Thanks to EatItalian.com for supporting Vito Bonifaci. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.